The NFL records a variety of performance data for individuals and teams. To investigate the importance of passing on the percentage of games won by a team, the following data show the average number of passing yards per attempt, which is X, and the percentage of games won, which is Y, for a random sample of 10 NFL teams for the 2011 season. Develop a scatter diagram with the number of passing yards per attempt on the horizontal axis and the percentage of games won on the vertical axis. So I created this using Minitab. What does the scatter diagram indicate about the relationship between the two variables? So we can see that as yards per attempt increases, then so too does win percentage. And that increase looks to be fairly linear, and so I've added the simple linear regression line to the plot to help us quantify that linear relationship. Develop the estimated regression equation that can be used to predict the percentage of games won given the average number of passing yards per attempt. So first of all we'll calculate B1 which comes to 17.175 and next B0 which comes to minus 70.39 and we can put those two numbers into the estimated regression equation y hat equals minus 70.39 plus 17.175 times x. In this equation minus 70.39 represents the y-intercept which is the expected value of y when x equals 0 and that doesn't have any practical interpretation in this case because it doesn't make sense for team to have zero yards per attempt. That would be a very poor team indeed. The 17.175 on the other hand does have a practical interpretation. That's the slope, which is the change in y for a unit change in x. And so in this context that's how much we expect the win percentage to change when the yards per attempt increases by one unit. For the 2011 season, the average number of passing yards per attempt for the Kansas City Chiefs was 6.2. Use the estimated regression equation developed earlier to predict the percentage of games won by the Kansas City Chiefs. So we'll plug 6.2 into our equation and obtain 36.1% as the prediction of the percentage of games won by the Kansas City Chiefs. And this is where that value comes in our scatter plot. It's the value on the regression line when yards per attempt is 6.2. So there was actually a team in the data set that had a value of x equal to 6.2, a yards per attempt of 6.2. That was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They ended up with a win percentage of only 25%. And that's the data point that you can see immediately below the arrow. But what we just did was predicted a team that wasn't included in the sample. That was the Kansas City Chiefs. And we predicted that their win percentage would be 36.1%. That's the value on the regression line that the arrow is pointing to. Turns out that the Kansas City Chiefs actually recorded seven wins and nine losses in that season. And that actually comes to 44%. So they did better than predicted.